imagine if jesus was born at this present time majority of us will be the ones to kill him how will a virgin get pregnant how is it possible or if jesus was to turn water into wine in this our present time are you not among those that would doubt him what god cannot do does not exist majority of the people that are saying these things are still the ones doubting the testimony of the lord choosing charismatics members i don't blame them it is because one way or the other they lack spiritual understanding because to understand in the spirit realm is beyond human understanding you know and the moment you start to make mockery making jokes out of the things of god it means you don't have spiritual understanding from my own personal experience in 2012 my mom was seriously sick to the point that we all have already lost hope and we were already thinking she will give up the ghost and till date she's still alive all thanks to god and what actually happened she was sick to the point that she could not talk she could not eat she wasn't even responding to treatment and you know i came back from school and i was on holiday and i had to stay with her for like three to four months before i went back to school and you know i missed some of the lectures because school has already resumed even before i went back to school and you know while i was with her there was a day a pastor came one of those pastors that usually come to hospitals to pray for the sick people you know this pastor came and you know he prayed for my mom and two days three days after we started noticing some changes my mom that could not walk that could not talk she started talking she started responding to treatment she started eating you understand you know there i i noticed that it was after that pastor prayed for her if i was not there it would have been a case of me to doubt and you know behave like some people are behaving right now to the testimonies of the lord chosen charismatics members but because i was there i was present there when this pastor prayed for her i was a witness of how she 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 was sick how she has been feeling before the prayers and after the prayer so it was something i experienced with my own eyes even my mom does not know or should i say she she because you know she was unconscious at that period of time even when she was being prayed for she was she wasn't even able to say amen she was just looking like this you understand but i was there i experienced how they prayed for her and how she started responding to treatment after the prayers so it was easy for me to understand that no this is god at work it is not because uh, uh, she's now she was now getting better because in this case she was not even responding to treatment you understand if they give her anything she will vomit it she will throw up and all of that but gradually after the prayers she started responding to treatment you know she started eating and not throwing up again she started being able to walk gradually and today i can tell you my mom can run by herself but during that course of illness she was unable to walk at all we had to carry her anytime we want to take her for any treatment we have to carry her so what god cannot do does not exist and the moment the devil tries as much as possible to make you to start making jokes about the things of god because you feel these things are not something you can believe it is not something that can happen the devil is gradually taking charge of your life because there will be a point in time where you will need something like that and it will be a problem for you to even believe and when someone is saying a prayer for you to just say amen and see that things comes to manifestation it becomes a problem for you to say amen because you feel it, it cannot happen because the devil has seriously dealt with you to the point that you have come to 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 come to the understanding that god cannot do some things and it is a bad thing and that is why you know when i see even some christian content creators that are jumping on this trend because you know everybody wants to trend and they want to use sound and all of that i'm not saying you should not uh, make trend out of something but the trend you are trying to make are you trying to mock god or you are trying to shame the devil as a christian content creator my own mentality of trending should be that i want to trend for god majority of the benefit should be for god and not for the devil and if you look at majority of the people that are making trend out of this it is because they are mocking god they may not realize it they may not understand it that they are actually mocking god but you are mocking god in case no one has told you the moment you start to feel god cannot do some things and you can openly come out to declare it and say it 
and people laugh and make jokes about it, then you are mocking God. To get to a point in your life that you have mocked God to the point that God himself can no longer help you. And at that point, the devil will start to mock you because now you need God. And because, you know, you have mocked God to the point that your brain and your mentality, your, your method of reasoning has been changed and you feel God cannot do some of these things. And at that point, God will, will not be able to help you because you are not ready to accept, you are not ready to receive. And even if God is helping you, you are doubting. The Bible says a double-minded man cannot receive anything from God. You are doubting and you have placed some mentality of unbelief in yourself, which will make you not to be able to receive what God actually wants to do for you. The Bible says man receives nothing except it is given from above how do you intend to receive when you are full of doubt when what you know how to do best is to mock the things of god we need to repent i pray that the lord help us though we may laugh about those things but let's not see it as something that cannot happen you understand even if you feel you want to laugh about it don't see it as if indeed these things are impossible laugh and know for sure that this thing actually happened and even if it doesn't happen know for sure that it can happen because god can do all things imagine if jesus was born at this present time that we are majority of us will be the ones to kill him so when we condemn those sadducees and pharisees for killing jesus let's also check ourselves are you sure if these things that we are written about jesus if these things were to happen now won't you be among those that will condemn Jesus? Won't you be among those that will say, it is impossible, it is not possible. How will a virgin get, get pregnant? How is it possible? Or if Jesus was to turn water into wine in this our present time, are you not among those that will doubt him? We need to check ourselves. God bless you.